Hello there guys, this is El Bordo and welcome to a new From the Depths campaign. This time we are playing a uh, actual normal campaign, not my replica campaign as I've not yet been able to build new ships. The replica campaign will probably run um, at the same time as this campaign just to make it extra confusing for everybody involved. So what have you missed? The map has been updated, the game has been updated, everything's been updated. And I'm going to probably try and control my vehicles. Now you need a heart heath stone, a heart stone, to have your character alive. They must always be alive, otherwise you would die a horrible, painful death. And now onto the first step. We need to quickly redesign this area, our lovely little homestead. So that it would be a little bit less um, resource heavy. I mean, we've got alloy here. We have lots of wood that has no purpose. We have a little boat. All this can get scrapped. We do not need it. So we're going to start anew and make our own little base. I'm just going to do a little bit of editing. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so following a bit of reduction, we now have this uh, little base. I've taken off a lot of bits of it. I've improved the engine. That's the first thing you should always do. I've also added a little crystal smelting area to make us some crystal. Always good. And I've raised it off the ground a little bit, so we're uh, not been laying on the ground. Always a good thing. Um, only other thing I'm going to do is probably add another crystal growth farm. Plus, these are invaluable early on. Okay, just going to have one of these. So that's going to help me make some crystals. Alright, happy days. Next stage is we're going to build one of our first combat boats. And I feel when we're going to spawn today, if it loads. Actually, we'll probably spawn in one of my favourite all-time ships, if I can get to spawn. Um, I forgot what it is now. Let's spawn it in. I believe it's my Bumblebee missile carrier. Did I put it in my Bumblebee rocket sloop before? So that's a bit right. Yeah, I'll just assume it's in there. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. It, I hope this is one. Okay, so I'm going to spawn. Yeah, here we are. And now this is going to make one of my first, or our first ship, which we will use to take over a nearby outpost, get some resources, and cause a bit of mischief. Now I'm just going to let that build, check the map, make certain no one's out to kill me. Nope, no one's out to kill me. Um, I think the map changes every time we start it, because this looks different. Or is it? I never know. Okay, back with you once the ship is built. Okay, we've got our first ship here, the little bumblebee rocket sloop as I call it, and we're going to try and find ourselves some deep water guard and take them out. Well, we thought it was planned. So first we've got to test if it actually works, and it does, but the problem is I've cocked it up, so it doesn't actually want to turn. Never a good thing. Alright, we'll go and try and fix this now. Okay, I think I've now fixed it. We've got the steering somewhat. Actually, pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Uh, on the front here, we have a couple of rockets. Both two sets of three. I think they're... Yeah, they all fire at once, which will be interesting. Might add a little bit of... Um, yeah, I may just add something to him, which will delay each rocket fire, but we'll worry about that later. And from here, I think we can see what looks like either a hostile force or hostile resource point, so we go over there, and we're going to try and take it. We've got the jolly water to fly, so let's do it. Okay, so I've been traveling for a little while now, and I honestly have no idea where I'm going. I've been looking around, looking in distance. Nothing at all on the horizon. It's a lovely day for a sail, but I'm clueless. I think I'm going to have to make a little, um, little raid out of this. It's just going to fire itself up and. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. There's something over there. So I have cleverly stalked my opposition and. 
I have discovered where they were. They did not know where I was. And I knew exactly where they were the whole time. So, it's going to give me a jolly good bloody nose. There should be about two ships. And my ship's just surfing through the waves down here. Back there as always. Alright. Give it a couple of seconds and what we've got here. Got a deep water guard, most entire navy. What we've got in particular, anything of what is threat? Scared about the again. That was surprising, to say at least. fired at me. No, I don't like it. I don't care if the rocket's been fired at me much. I'm on the edge of the trap out of something. Yeah, something got blown in two there. So that was definitely what was firing rockets at me. <laughs> They're firing rockets no longer. Torpedoes, but I think it's been disabled and we might be able to capture it. I hope. Please be the it disabled and allow me to capture you. Um, since I last played the game, that's it, Dave. I'm not going to do content. I'm not going to do new things. Okay. Spontaneously blew up, as you do. Four seconds, three seconds. If I get real quick, I might be able to capture it. No. It's wet. It's wet. And I've won a battle. <laughs> Pretty good, alright. So I go off to fight in a war and I win a battle. Without even planning upon it. Or sometimes. Okay, overall that. I feel it. Rocket sloop took next to no damage. But it didn't really get hit, I think. Where was that? It got blown up. But I believe that's a hostile on the other side of the island here. So we just got to go on a little adventure. Find out what we know. Find out what we can find. And destroy some deep water guard. Let's do it. Something, something, something. You are a pirate. Do what you want, because a pirate is for you. You are a pirate. I really do love this rocket suit, but it's just a magnificent little craft to fly around in. It's maneuverable, it's got a lot of kick to it, and it's got a pretty special engine. It's got a crew compartment, so if I'm in first person, I can see a lovely view of the water to my immediate left and passing to my immediate right. Yeah, it's pretty functional. <laughs> I, I have no idea where I'm going. So I'm going for this little pass here. Let's deep water guard over there. Bit. No one why my. Why are you doing that? Okay, my fortress appears to have listened to me when I ordered it away. And I've got to now order it back to the base. Okay. Not too far to go though. I believe there was a hostile on the other side of this mountain somewhere. I thought. I thought I saw. I thought I thought. I thought I saw a pretty cat. 
Oh, I'll get back to you when I find something. Okay, so we were just idly cruising along. I put it out of play while we travelled. But if we go back into play now, you see we have what looks like a nasty swarm of something that flies. And I'm a bit scared as to what it is. But night time's about four as well, which is going to make things really interesting. I believe that's a resource point over there, or that's just a loading bar in the sky. Regardless what happens, we have a hostile to fight. We're going to do ourselves some invasion in and in and That is that's a quite cool. So we've got an Atlas and Red Hot Lights. It's been very interesting. Right. Fire out one variety of rockets. That's a bit something. Take that out. It's a bit of mischief. Some variety of rockets. I'm going to keep on loading these rockets on. Do some of these rockets flying. The benefit of this ship is it's flying. So. Dodge their shells. Speak to them in the arse of him. I'm from this now, but I've got to Oh god! I went into a minefield. Oh god, what is this? I thought I was safe until I've just gone out into some sort of crazy ass minefield. But god knows what. Hit that Atlas. Right wreck it. Boom. Knocked it back. Got a hole for me. Nice shit. Got a really, really good one. This shit can hold. Oh god. God, this is not good for me. This is really not good for me. I think, oh god, yep, yeah, we've just been blown out of the water. Oh, this is anything but good. more threatening than I thought it was. Let's have a problem. Alright. Just have to, have to retreat from that battle. I didn't get That did anything but play out in my favour. Alright, let's return back to base, heal up our ship, or what remains of it and try and come back at them. Okay guys, it would seem that we have friends. We've got the Atlas and Co who attacked us earlier, they're coming back. But I also have friends. I built two events class rocket sloops. Um, AI based modifications of the Bumblebee rocket sloop. They pack a fair bit of power too. And this is a grenade launcher. I just managed to blow a bloody hole in my ship. That was fucking genius to me. <laughs> okay, the battle's begun. Just sure where the battle... Oh god, the bat battle's begun over there. So... We've got to try and 
turn myself around to get into this combat. And this cost will just bow kicks mass. made a little bit of difference in not the bloody thing out of the sky taking this magazine out of it. That's a start. That rocket sleep over there is having a go at it. Just haven't got anything that's flying. It's just my iPhone thing tells you now that it's the GI is dead or anything like that. So that's a feature that was really needed. Defending the home base, we've got our three rocket sloops here. All looking fairly victorious. And this one, which appears to have lost some rockets. Not too sure where, I think it's just in need of repair. So, that right, still is uh, underway. We'll probably take this chance to end it here. It's been a lovely little first episode, not a lot's happened. We've had a little bit of a shenanigan, a bit of an adventure. And we defended the base from being taken out in the very first one. It was just my main priority to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Take these guys. I'll catch you next time. I've been El Boido, And I hope you've enjoyed what you're seeing. Please leave a comment, like or subscribe. Take it easy. Bye.